if we try something, like what holds people back from getting better is, is uh, one thing for yourself. The consequence of showing up and training the right way is improvement. That's just what's going to happen. No matter who you are, no matter how athletic you are, if you train with no ego and you train to get better, you're going you're gonna to get better. You're going to improve. Okay? Now, what happens is many times we try a new technique that we just learned in class. 99% of the time, we get shut down, right? I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna do my best to not let any of you guys catch me back and forth. But even if you try and you don't get it, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. It means to keep trying over and over, all right? We, we gotta step out of our comfort zone, put ourselves in different situations, and also understand that <clears throat> there's more than one thing to do, okay? So now my partner is giving me a tough time yeah, and the head staying to this side, okay? Now, I try maybe to push over, I can't. The great thing about jujitsu, guys, is using your partner's body against them. So okay, he wants to keep his head to this side. I'm pushing his head to this side. My leg's gonna come out, I come right to the umapana, all right? Now, I don't need to get it over the head first, and we have another dilemma, most people think, our leg is caught, a good guy's gonna grab your leg, your bottom leg, they're not gonna let you get it out, all right? I come over the head. Now, I don't care if my leg's caught. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on my elbow a little bit, all right? Now, I want you guys to be careful when you drill this, okay? All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn my knee down and roll, all right? I get my partner right where I want them to be. Sometimes, in fact, with the home plot, instead of trying to sit up, I feel I'm a pretty big and strong guy. I, I never sit up on people. They always kind of just power out of it, okay? So when I roll through, I have a little bit more success. And if I don't get the on bar, at least I get the sweep, okay? So my partner's here. Notice my knee is still across. I don't have this in here. I'm kind of keeping him away. Keep his head to the side. I push his head to the side. My knee's across now. I slide my knee out. I circle it over. I catch the far shoulder. Okay, from here, I work my way over, I get the foot in front of the face. From this position here, get up on the elbow a little bit. My, knee, my partner has my bottom leg, he's not allowing me to take this leg out. Maybe he thinks he's, uh, he's safe this way. But as long as my leg is in, I'm also controlling him from rolling a little bit. If he goes to roll, I have my foot here, I'm hooking him. All right, turn my knee down. If he wasn't to roll, his arm would snap off. Thumb facing up, get the submission. Again. And, and generally, people are gonna rest their hand here. Okay, we'll go over what to do when they bring a hand through the legs. He grabs here, he starts flattening me out. Push the head down. A lot of times I'll, I'll keep that head down. I'll push it down, I'll push it away. Come right over, okay? As soon as it's here, even if it's not across the face, right? From this position, I can roll. If he sat up into me now, I have to triangle anyway. All right? Hey guys, one, two, three.